Hi, my name is Steve Croce and I'm a product manager in Dell's PowerEdge C team and I'm here today to talk about the PowerEdge C6220 which is the product in front of me. So first of all, the PowerEdge C6220 is a direct follow-on to our previous generation C6100 and is once again a 2U shared infrastructure platform that allows you to fit either four uh, single height nodes or two double height nodes in the 2U chassis. Uh, we have two hard drive options, either 12 large form factor 3.5 inch drives or 24 small form factor 2.5 inch drives. So the first main feature of the new product is the performance. And the main headline there is Intel's new E5-2600 series of processors. So the first note on just pure processor performance, a large generational leap in performance for the processor itself, uh, a larger number of cores, uh, some better technology in, in the two processors talking to each other, but what we've also done uh, with the C6220 is added support for higher wattage processors where on the C6100 we only supported up to 95 watts, this product will support up to 135 watts, which will net you an additional 20% of performance over the, the, the highest bin uh, 95 watt processor. In addition to the processing performance, the E5-2600 adds an additional memory channel, uh, upping that number to four, so that you can get better memory bandwidth and greater memory capacity. So on the memory capacity side, we have 16 uh, DIMM slots on the system, so that with 16 gigabyte DIMMs, you can hit 256 gigabytes per node. Uh, as we move forward and add 32 gigabyte DIMMs, you'll be able to hit 512 gigabytes per node. But um, another important piece of the story is the sheer bandwidth that you get out of these uh, the additional memory channel. So with the additional memory channel, and Intel's new support of 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory, you get a lot better bandwidth per core in this processor than you would in the previous generation uh, Intel Westmere uh, processors. So more memory, faster memory. Another note on the performance side is PCI Express Gen 3 uh, support that the E5-2600 processors have. So the, the number of slots is similar in this product than in the previous generation, but we've added Gen 3 support. So you've still got a BI-8 custom me uh, mezzanine slot, and you've got a BI-16 low-profile half-length slot, just like the previous uh, C6100 product. The big difference now is that they are Gen 3 capable. Another difference, though, in, this, uh, in the C6220 is now with a two-node system, you can actually get double the amount of PCI Express slots. You still have your BI-8 custom mezzanine slot, but you can get two by 16 slots, and in addition, as you can see by the shroud, you can fit a longer full length card in here. So if you decide to go with a uh, two node variant of the system, you have a lot more I.O. options. Um, and in the case of connecting to the C410X, you can see here we have two hit cards, greater bandwidth per node uh, to, the, to uh, a GPU system. So much higher performance in this generation, a lot of it along with our work uh, with Intel's E5-2600 processor. The second piece that I'd like to talk about is the power efficiency. Uh, and it starts with the power supplies themselves. So power supplies in this system are now more efficient. We are 80 plus platinum certified, um, which means the power supplies are 94% efficient. It continues through the power distribution in the system. Um, every time you route power throughout a system, their there, power is lost uh, in getting from point A to point B. We've minimized those losses to cut uh, power usage out of the system. And then the final piece is the fans themselves. It is a tuned fan um, to the uh, physics of the, of the chassis itself and actually cuts more power out of the system itself uh, due to a tuned fan algorithm. So if you compare this to the previous generation uh, C6100, you're actually saving at full load about uh, 100 watts plus uh, for, the, uh, for the system. So very much an attempt to you know, not only have this be the highest performance system, but the highest performance per watt system. The final point I'd like to talk about is kind of the flexibility of the chassis and some of the uh, serviceability and, and, and ease of use updates we've added to the system. So in addition to fully cleaning up the system, as you can see the, an the fans are easy to pull out and uh, they have a quick disconnect right there. Um, in addition to those, uh, many more components in the system are easier to remove, easier to repair, easier to replace. But also in terms of flexibility, 
we've added the capability of doing four completely different configurations for your nodes, or two different uh, uh, completely different configurations for your nodes. Compared to the previous generation, you had to do four of the same system. Well, now you can change memory, processor, and PCI Express cards per server. A final feature that goes along with that is on our 24 drive chassis, we'll have an expander backplane option that allows you to slice up those 24 drives any way you'd like. So if I had four nodes in the system and I wanted um, two compute nodes, one memcache node, and one storage node, I can give those compute nodes a disk each, I can give the memcache node no disks, and I can give that storage node the remaining 22 disks. Things like that are possible to, allow, to give you a little bit more flexibility of what you can fit in one box. So all of those features rolled together are um, really our approach in trying to make the C6220 a more efficient, higher performance, more flexible system than the C6100. Uh, for more information, you can find us at dell.com forward slash PowerEdge C.